I just made a huge mistake today. I purchased him stock in my Patreon portfolio during market hours. $3,000 in stock. Gone. Gone. Huge mistake. And guess what? Hims is down 3.6% after hours. It was down a lot more. When I was preparing this video, it was down a lot more. So what happened? Today, Hims um, released earnings. And let's dig into that. Let's dig into the earnings and let's just figure out what is going on. And why am I down 3.6%? Why? Okay, let's find out. Okay, so actually, this is part of my larger Hims, Hims portfolio in my Patreon account. As you can see, the most recent purchase is just right there at the top. But my cost basis is $12.85. So $12.85, I'm still up quite a lot. And I purchased this earlier this year. So I'm still happy with the position. So let's get into it. What is Hims? Hims specializes it's a um, online telemedicine company, and honestly, I think they're the only profitable telemedicine company. I don't think anything else is profitable. Like Teladoc, they lose a lot of money. Um, United Healthcare had to shut down theirs, shut down completely. Okay, so what makes him special is they specialize in stigmatized medicine. In fact, this is one of their advertisements. Let me take off myself. This is one of their ads. How many other telemedicine companies can get away with an advertisement like this? Not many, not many. So yeah, um, by the way, Shamao says to like and subscribe. So anyway, like I said, HIMS does stigmatize medicine. So this is their focus, this is their specialty. So what does this do? What they do is, it says it right here, here's their website. It's actually kind of a creative website. I like it. Um, so yeah, have great sex, regrow hair, tackle anxiety, have longer sex, get smooth skin, and lose weight. Speaking of lose weight, they actually just recently got into the GLP-1 market by doing compounded GLP medications for $199 per month. Now that sounds like a lot until you compare it to the brand names, which do it for almost $3,000 per month. So they are significantly undercutting the competition here. And they're gonna be able to do this until the supply normalizes. So anyway, let's get into this. Again, this is stigmatized medicine. So what makes this, what, why do you use HIMS? Why go to HIMS over going to your doctor? I mean, if you're having trouble down there, you have two choices. Either or three choices. Either you can ignore it, or you can go to your doctor, which you've been going to for 20 years, or you can go to Hims. <laughs> Hims is an online telemedicine portal, and the thing is, is discretion. You can just fill out the online form, the survey, talk to their online doctor through like, you know, a, tel a teleconference, and then that's it. You don't have to involve your local doctor that you've been seeing for 20. years years and then they'll ship it to you in discreet packaging the packaging is completely discreet it's very hard to tell it's even from hymns so that's the main thing and that's the, one of the reasons why they're able to sell things at such a margin and generate cash and considering their market valuation they generate tons of cash and look at their market cap 3.8 billion dollars 3.8 billion dollars. That's a cheap market cap considering how much cash they bring in. So anyway, let's continue on. Let's continue on. This is in the midst of a broad market sell-off. Just the S&P plummeted today 3%. The Nasdaq's down 3.43%. I mean, oh my goodness. Today was horrible. And thank goodness I don't have many Japanese stocks because their market's down 12.5% terrible day terrible day and friday was terrible as well and we may be entering a recession we may be entering a recession the good thing about hymns though is that during the market hours they're up 1.48 percent one of the very few stocks that are up today that was in preparation of this release okay so what was expected let's move on what was expected for the earnings report for hymns was earnings of five cents per share 
and revenue of $304.7 million, up 46.6% per year. Okay, so what did HIMSS do? Oh, and actually, before we get to what they did, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you why I don't care that the stock is down 3% after hours. I don't care because my goal was I, want, I had money and I wanted to buy some stock today. I wanted to buy some HIMSS today because their earnings were coming out today. I was projecting a beat. I thought they were going to do a beat, primarily because of, of GLP-1. So I bought some stock today. I'm, I'm going to buy some stock tomorrow. DCA. DCA, dollar cost averaging. So if the stock went up today, I would buy today and buy tomorrow. And guess what? Average for the two. If the stock goes down, which it did, I'm going to buy more stock tomorrow for the cheap. And then just average it out. It's very simple. That way there's no stress. That's why I don't care. In fact, I would prefer if the stock was down 9%. It was down 9.5%. I wish it was down 9.5%. Then I can get more stock of this great company for even cheaper. A little bit closer to my cost basis. Okay, so anyway, let's get back to it. So those are the expectations. So what happened? Here's the actual results. So net revenue is $315.6 million, up 52% year over year. That is a massive beat. That is a massive beat. Again, they were expecting earnings of um, $304.7 million. So they delivered a huge beat on the top line. Net income three point thirteen point three million dollars, adjusted EBITDA of forty million dollars. Well, nearly forty million dollars. Subscribers grew forty three percent year over year. These are huge numbers. These are huge numbers. And guess what? They raised their their expectations for twenty twenty four. So raises full year twenty twenty four revenue guidance to a range of one point three seven billion dollars to one point four billion dollars and adjusted EBITDA guidance to a range of $140 million to $155 million. Now, how much of an increase was this? Well, thankfully, I brought up the results from their previous quarter. This is their previous quarter. So in Q1, they were expecting revenue of for the full year of $1.2 to $1.23 billion. So it went from $1.2 to $1.23 to uh, 1.37 to 1.4. That is a huge raise. Huge, 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 huge. And adjusted bits of 120 to $135 million. And again, they increased it to 140 to $155 million. So those are the numbers, those are the numbers. Okay, so what happened? Hims and Hers Health, the leading telehealth or health and wellness platform today announced financial results for the second quarter ended june 30th 2024 in a shareholder letter okay so the note from the ceo our second quarter results mark an acceleration in what was already an incredible trajectory during the quarter subscribers on our platform approached 1.9 million increasing 43 percent year over year said andrew dudum co-founder and ceo we believe access to life-changing solutions should be simple, convenient, affordable, and designed for the individual. As we expand the capabilities on our platform, we are only more convinced that we can help an individual in every household in the country feel great. Yemi Okupe, I cannot pronounce that person's name. Honestly, I don't even know if that's a male or a female. But anyway, the CFO stated, an approach to democratizing access to high volatility personalized solutions on our platform at an affordable price increases or continues to resonate with consumers. We are seeing this improve our ability to attract new users to longer tenured specialties while also allowing us to more rapidly scale new specialties. During the second quarter, these dynamics drove an acceleration a revenue growth and record profitability levels. We are updating our full year outlook to reflect this um, improving momentum and continue to believe we are on a clear path towards serving tens of millions of customers as we scale this increasingly powerful and efficient model. And that's the thing I love about them is their business model. We'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. 
Don't worry, we'll get into that. Okay, so what are the actual numbers? So again, we already know about the subscribers increasing 43%, we know that. Here's the good thing. The monthly online revenue per average subscriber increased 8% year over year. Why is that good? Last quarter, the previous quarter, that number was flat. Um, I can't find it here, but it was flat year over year last quarter. So from last quarter to this quarter, it's now up 8%. This is great and increases the revenues substantially. Okay, so what else do we have? Um, net orders are 20%, AOB is up to 27%. Um, total revenue is increased 52%. Okay, so this is the other thing is the last quarter in Q1, revenue increased um, 46%, right? Or yeah, 46%. So revenue increased 46% in Q1 and increased 52% in Q2. So it's accelerating. The revenues growth is accelerating. Why? Primarily because of GLP-1. Um, GLP-1 is huge for the company. I'll go over that in a second. But actually, GLP-1 is a, the reason for 6% of this increase. So it's huge for the company. For now, for now. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, second quarter financial highlights. We went over most of this. Oh, gross margin was 81%. Whew. Net income was $13.3 million. We went over that, that, that. And free cash flow was $47.6 million in the second quarter compared to $10 million in the second quarter of last year. So yeah, that is amazing. Um, anything else here? So yeah, we went over this. So okay, the third quarter. They're expecting revenues of 375 to 380 million dollars. So quarter over quarter, what is that? Quarter over quarter, so that's huge. So okay, let me get this straight. Hams is just this last quarter, this, this amazing quarter, did 315 million dollar, 315.6 million dollars in sales in this last amazing quarter, which increased 52%. So they're growing that, well, they're expecting to grow that from $315 million in Q2 this quarter, well, last quarter, to $375 to $380 million next quarter sequentially. That's like 20% sequentially. 20% sequentially. 20% sequentially. Okay, so the um, adjusted bits of $35 to $40 million. Reflecting adjusted bits a margin of 9 to 11%. I believe long term they're expecting, we'll go with that if I can find it. I forgot the number. For the full year, they're expecting revenue of $1.37 to $1.4 billion and adjusted bits of $140 to $155 million. And what else do we have? What else do we have? Okay, another awesome thing about HIMS is, okay, so this is their balance sheet. And okay, what is missing from this balance sheet? Most companies have a particular line item that HIMS doesn't have. Can you find it? I'll give you five seconds. Debt, long-term debt is nowhere to be found. Why? Because they don't have any. They don't have any. That is amazing. In this, in this high interest rate environment, HIMS, which just recently turned profitable, has zero debt, zero debt. And that is amazing, just fantastic, fantastic. So yeah, the numbers are just great all around. Gross margins are high, you know, it's a telehealth company, so I mean, it's a, they're gonna have high margins. But the great thing here is, well, okay, on the opposite side is they have this GLP-1 medication, so they had to increase the marketing spend greatly for this GLP-1 medication. So you'll see the marketing spend increase from $107 million to $144.9 million. So they're increasing marketing while they're increasing their bottom line. You'll see their bottom line actually came in at six cents, which is also a beat. Remember, they were expected to do five cents. They did six cents, even with this huge marketing boost. This marketing boom is huge. So even with that, they're even more profitable. So yeah, the company is doing amazing there. And well, let's see, what else is there? Do we have anything else here? Okay, what do we have 
here, anything fancy here. This is the um, the f better looking chart. So yeah, uh, we went over the numbers. And yeah, you know what? I give this earnings report, oh, I wanna give it an A, but I can't give everything an A. Every you know, NVIDIA is gonna get the A. NVIDIA is gonna get the A. So I, I have to compare this to NVIDIA. Oh, and also one more thing is they're expecting in each of their specialties, including sexual health, mental health, men's and women's dermatology, and weight loss, each of those to have revenue of at least $100 million in 2025. So yeah, they're just, ex they're executing very well and they're very profitable. And again, they have such a cheap market cap considering their earnings, $32 million, and their market cap of only $3.8 billion, they are very cheap. So yeah, I have to give this one a I'll give this one a B plus because the A goes to NVIDIA. So I'm gonna give this earnings report a B plus. They are doing fantastic. I'm excited in the company. They beat on the bottom line, they beat on the top line and the outlook got increased. So I have absolutely no idea why the stock, okay, now it's up 4%. Yay me, it's up 4%. Woo hoo, woo hoo. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a little too excited. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it off here. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching 5% <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.